Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the memory uh, on a Synology NAS. Uh, this particular model is a Synology DS1819 Plus and I've purchased 16 gig of RAM um, from Amazon, from the Amazon Prime Day deals that have just passed us. Um, I didn't find too many good deals on there to be honest, but this was a particularly good buy I felt at uh, £32 for 16 gig at 2400 Hertz uh, RAM so this unit has already had uh, its fair share of upgrade it's already got installed in it a Synology E10 M20 T1 PCI expansion card and what that gives you is it gives you 10 gigabit of connectivity uh, with a 10G based T Ethernet hub and also uh, the ability to install two NVMe drives for fast cache. Um, so this has got installed uh, two 970 Evo NVMe disks and there you can see the 10G base T port uh, from the PCI card. I will remove the cover um, just to show you the card uh, as it is installed um, and then we'll proceed to install the memory modules and the memory modules are installed uh, underneath the unit so you don't need to remove the cover if you're just upgrading the RAM um, but you definitely do need to remove the cover if you're installing uh, the PCI expansion card and you don't have to use this expansion card there are other compatible 10 gigabit Ethernet expansion cards um, I was particularly interested in this model because it was the only way of um, getting that fast cache layer um, without using any of the actual eight drive bays, eight main drive bays um, for any SSDs. So I'm trying to reserve the uh, eight main drive bays for three and a half inch spindles just for the bulk storage um, and just rely on the NVMEs for the fast cache layer. Uh, and this opening this case up reminds me of opening an old PC. Uh, anyone watching this that was building PCs back in the early 2000s or maybe even earlier than that uh, will definitely remember that old tower cases used to look exactly like this. So it definitely brings back some memories there. And if I turn this to the side, you will be able to see it's a very, very heavy unit. Uh, the Synology, that is the E10 M20 T1. Um, so the two NVMe drives fit here under these four screws. I won't remove that heat sink because there's thermal pads, conductivity pads fitted on the underside of this um, and onto the top of the NVMEs and if I remove this they'll probably have to be replaced. So uh, that's the card. I thought I'd show you that. I'm going to pause the video now while I just get the cover back on because it is a bit of a faff and as soon as the cover's back on uh, we'll proceed to install the memory underneath. I'll be right back. Right, so we've got the cover back on. Um, that was a bit of a fact. If you didn't want me to watch, you didn't want to watch me getting that cover back on. So I'm just going to put this neoprene case here to rest the NAS onto to risk not damaging the device. Again, it is an extremely heavy unit because it's got a lot of drives installed in there already. And on the underside there, you can see the uh, panel under which the memory modules will fit. Okay, that way, probably get a better view. Uh, so this particular unit comes with four gigabytes of RAM pre-installed. You'd think the amount you pay for one of these, Synology would consider putting in uh, 16 gig to start off with, but four gig is what they give you. So that's what you've got to take. Um, if I just remove that memory module so we can inspect it a bit closer, that's what you get with it out of the box. Um, it looks like it's got a Synology branding on it, but who manufactures it, we don't know. That also is a 2400 um, dim there, so the memory that I bought from Amazon is effectively exactly the same specification. It's a non-EEC uh, 16 gig DDR4 2400. Uh, dim. So you can see there, they're like for like. So there's not going to be any compatibility issues there. I can leave this module in and add this extra 16 in 
for a total of 20 gig of RAM and maybe at some point in the future when there's some other good deals on I will buy another 16 gig and drop it in so we can be up to a total of 32 gigabytes um, the memory is useful if you want to run applications from the Synology store on the unit I'm only running one at the moment which is to back up some VMs from a VMware cluster um, but I thought if I installed some more memory it might be worthwhile trying out some other applications from their store um, there are some that look quite interesting but I've not installed any in the case that they might consume too much memory from the unit but as you can see there that memory clipped in nice and easy no issues there at the server none were expected and that's in uh, so what I will do is I'll close this wall back up and I'll get a video up and running to uh, show you guys and girls the performance I'll show you the, I'll show you the um, resource window that shows hopefully that we've got 20 gig of RAM instead of 4 uh, that will show that that's a successful installation of the memory and I'll also uh, record some benchmarks of transferring between my PC and this device um, to show you the performance of the 10 gigabit ethernet card and uh, also the benefits of having the NVMe drives installed um, for a fast cache layer so you can make maximum use of that 10 gigabit ethernet connectivity so thanks for watching I'll be posting another video um, or I will try and add on to this video uh, some benchmarks um, and screenshots of the memory uh, at 20 gig on this device. Thanks for watching.